Ooh, you can shape shift. Yeah, of course you have. Hello there, great person, and welcome back to Let's Watch Doctor Who today. We're on episode two of the specials. Today we are gonna watch Wild Blue Yonder. Don't know what that means, but can't wait for it. Uh, yeah, so we are with uh, 14, who's a bit like 10, and uh, Donna, and uh, they are having fun, and I can't wait to have fun with them. Let's see what Russell T. Davis has cooked up today, or whoever wrote this, and let's have some fun with this episode. This one and the next one to go, then we, I think, lose 14th Doctor again already, and I'm already sad because I really love David Tennant and the role. Can't wait to see where this is going. But without further ado, let's get into the wild blue yonder and see what uh, or what we've got going today and where the TARDIS is going to take us. Doch ich frag, ich frag mich, wer wir sind. Starting in England, always good. Oh, are we with Isaac Newton? We're probably with Isaac Newton. Yep, Isaac Newton. Okay, great stuff. That probably never happened, but <laughs> why not? Wow. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> oh, wow, that's Sorry. cool effect. Sir, isn't that a spoiler? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh, God. Isn't that creating a paradox? I mean, it is, but who cares? And <laughs> there it's up again. <laughs> what? Oh, no. What? Oh, God. Is this going to be important? Like, is the setting up some. Hints to, I don't know, I still hope this is like gonna be something that erases the flux and the stupid stuff from season 12, but whatever, we'll see. Ah, written by Russell T. Davis, the champ. Oh, so we're on a spaceship, I assume, or in a underwater base. Oh, heart of the TARDIS spitting out stuff. Interesting. Ooh, cloister bell. That's not good. Cloister, cloister bell because of coffee cup. Okay, I guess. <laughs> not your fault, is it? Yeah, it was. Why does he have a non-sonic screwdriver? <laughs> White, blue, yonder. I don't know that. Probably because I'm not English. Why? Why? Oh, oh, I see. Uh, a war song that's not good. Is it a premonition? Oh, that's so cool. Love the new one. Looks so much like 11s as well. It's basically a mix of all the screwdrivers, uh, screwdrivers he's had since uh, he was 10. No? Yeah. Okay, spaceship. That's cool. No underwater base. I like underwater bases as well. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, but the TARDIS always takes him where he needs to be, so... <laughs> oh no, seriously. Oh, okay, creepy thing looking at them. Oh, the TARDIS is pissing off. Yeah, I, I like, why not? Why not? Obviously, it's gonna do that. Oh, it's taking the screwdriver as well. That's good. He's not got a tile. Is that no screwdriver? I love it when he figures out stuff without them. Yeah, I like that. Finally, again, human dialogue. 
Nice stuff. Nicely done. But those two are so on point and I love their characters. Oh my god, where are we? <laughs> oh, yeah, wow, that's so nicely done. Someone actually being afraid when they are somewhere, they don't know where it is. That's so cool. Oh, it's the heads. Okay. That's not good, though. Then there is danger. We go. <laughs> you go, Donna! King is ours! <laughs> it's so good, eh? I love it. Oh, it's reshaping. Uh, might be nanites in the walls. That's cool. So it might be a sentient ship. Fence law. I don't know that. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, that's actually pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's a robot. That's so weird how that is shot. It's like something's behind them looking at the robot. It's so weird. Can you talk? Ooh, that one looks very old though. Is it even working? Oh, oh god, oh god, yeah, that startled me. Yeah, weird, how long? Is that corridor infinite, though? Because it's rebuilding, it might be infinite. At least we don't have world enough and time, time dilation again. That was horrifying. One of my favorite episodes. Oh, so there is an end. That's comforting. Set design is very cool. And that looks like sentient fluid? I don't know. Okay, no life signs? That's so weird. Oh god, the camera is making me anxious. Oh god, the crew was ejected by something. Yeah. This reminds me a lot of Oxygen, don't know. Oxygen and World Enough and Time, love it. What is the purpose of that spaceship? Like, it's just a long tube, what's it doing? What was its purpose? Ah, good old Doctor Who mysteries. There's boats. There's no stars. Who no stars? End of time? Oh, that's bad. The TARDIS was out of control. It's taken us. Where did it take you, mate? To the edge of the universe. Oh, <laughs> oh, edge of the universe. That's so dope. I love it. The universe is everything, and the concept of an everything having an edge is kind of impossible. For no, it's to no, it's not. No, it's no, it's not. Um, what? We we pretty much know that there are other universes. What is he talking about? You don't even need new math mathematics. Like we know, it's pretty certain, <laughs> and it, it's a, it's okay. It's sci-fi. It's pretty eerie though. Also reminds me of Listen. Yeah, yeah, but it hasn't come there yet. I guess. Yeah, see? Yeah. If we flew in that direction, it would take hundred trillion years to reach your With what speed though? That's important to you. I've never been this far enough. You have not? You have been with Tectune in the bubble universe, which was basically the same. Unprotected. Right on the edge. Oh, that must feel so cool and so terrifying. I love it. Yeah, that's so eerie in that context. Perhaps they went mad. <sighs> of course. Ooh, it's reshaping again. Why? What is the purpose of this thing? I think this way. <laughs> that was an 11 Doctor move. I like that he uh, 
takes some of those things. I like that he put some mannerisms of the doctor's... Oh, what? Oh god, he's trying... <laughs> <laughs> was it good? I, I like that he put some mannerisms of previous doctors like 11, 12 in here. Can't see 13 because she didn't have any determining things, unfortunately, because she was written shit, but... Why would you split up, though? I mean, yeah, no one's there, but clearly something happened. Oh, I hope nothing is uh, gonna... Um, gonna... Uh, do their voice, impersonate the voice. Oh, God. Ooh, weird. Why did it get cold? Oh. Did he see something that's not good? Why is he going to the ground? I mean, they will not wait for long if you come back. If you come back, though, yeah. That's actually, wow, I love, they f they talk about this stuff and I've, yeah, so long since people talked about the consequences of TARDIS travel, I love it. Yeah. Reminds me of Chris, like, in the Ninth Doctor's dialogue, uh, when he sent Rose away, TARDIS will gather dust, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, okay, it's a double ganger asshole. Great. What is it though? Okay, and there's gonna be a psycho donna now. You were fast. I did what you said. Okay. The doppelganger donna sounds a lot creepier than doppelganger doctor. And will be grandfather? With a sleeping bag and a thermos, and he would sit there forever. <laughs> yeah, he would. He would. <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to see him again as well. I hope they still have scenes. Maybe Orlando's not out, Crofts. I have a seed. There's a tribe and they worship it for a hundred years. Okay. Again, the, the TARDIS leaves as a monument and yeah. All around. So the TARDIS is just kind of a little dot. Oh wow, that is such cool dialogue. I love this. That is so cool. Wow. Wow, this is one of my favorite scenes for a long time, man. Oh, and the Gallifrey theme. Oh, wow, what a... So good. Yeah, please get it back. That hack destroyed it again. Now it got complicated. Yeah, it got complicated. Please fix it, mate. My arms are too long. Oh god, what's gonna happen with their fucking arms? My arms are too long. Oh god. <laughs> Classic Doctor Who horror. Are you my mummy? Are you my mummy? Oh god. <laughs> that's actually oh god man that's so messed up hey who turned out the lights hey who turned <laughs> not only Moffa does this stuff but yeah oh man it's so messed up oh i love this episode wow that's so creepy oh man that looks so weird the notion of shape is strange oh god are they concepts? At least he tries. Is it gonna be a flatline situation where they are actually evil? Ooh, you can shape shift. Yeah, of course you have. Oh man, what the fuck is this? Oh, nice new race! I hope I hope they are recurring. I love like these ancient races, like something like vampires or like from Flatline the Boneless. Oh God! Okay, they it looks. I'm I'm glad the effects are not that good because that would be. 
even scarier if the effects were better. So this is okay for me. Oh man, the Donald thing just had huge teeth. Oh man, the Donald thing looks so weird. At least they're still trying to adapt to our dimensions. Oh yes, that's a good point. Oh, it took the energy from the heat. Yeah, mm. brilliant, good writing, perfect, writing. brilliant. Did she mention Gallifrey? Yeah, she did. That's not good. Yeah, why do they hate you? If they're you, they should be pretty nice. That's a cool sci-fi letter. Oh god. What an awesome episode. Jesus Christ. Also new corridors. Sometimes they reu uh, reuse old corridors and these I think are new. Oh god. Is it a, one of the no things? Oh god. Jump scare. <laughs> Jump in. Uh, good god. Okay. Are you the right one? Okay. Yeah, they're not. Oh god. Yeah, so one of them is them, and one of them is the weird thing. Why would you exchange information that makes no sense? They know. Oh, that's good. Yeah, okay. Oh, God. <sighs> At least, I hope he at least does something cool with that. You know, because I think Russell T. Davis can actually write something interesting out of it and, like, salvage it, I think. She saw all, like, three billion years? <laughs> That's pretty a lot. I saw it. Yeah, that is true. So she saw Amy, Bill. The flux, uh, the flux as well, yeah. Is it still? It destroyed half the universe because of me. Oh, thank God the universe! That was so dumb. I thought it was still like they for forgot to <laughs> prepare it and film that. So yeah. So sad that Russell T. Davis has to like write this in, which is awesome writing. I love this scene, by the way. And Chibnall couldn't do it. Like he couldn't do. Like he he didn't write scenes like this. It's so important. Like, love it. Yeah, it's not Donna. Or is it? Is he the... Uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Thank God. I arrived in Southampton, which allowed my mother to say I was a problem from the day I was born. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Where's your tie? What? Your tie? What is it called? Oh, it forgot to replicate it on the ground. Ah, oh, it's so awesome. Wow, oh, this is one of the best episodes in years. So cleverly written. Ah, oh, the acting is so good. Oh, God, mate. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. Okay, now we are in The Exorcist. <laughs> they had some fun doing this one, I guess. Yeah, he is, seems to be pretty angry about getting tricked. Ah, good to see emotions from the doctor. It's so cool. Good. Nice. Yeah, he just had to get it out, I guess. Oh. Oh, that's not good. It's so stupid they try to argue their way out like it won't work anymore, I think. Because they seem to adapt. How did they know those were... How did they figure out that? What? Are we in Supernatural now? Vampires. Hmm, interesting. It's so random, like, trolling them with a salt dispenser. Cross the line, that's so awesome. Oh god, she's counting. Is she quick in counting? So if they become completely ours, the TARDIS will come back with them. Ooh, interesting theory, that's cool. But we would feel it from so far away. 
How would you feel that? Is it the warp? Is the warp making you feel it? Win. If you existed here, no shame. Oh, that's so weird how she's on the ground counting. It's so weird. The things we felt, they shaped us. Oh, so they are evil. That's cool. I like that. Evil villains. Just some evil things. Blood and fury and hate. Yeah, they probably heard the time war or something. Oh, God. Oh, they changed the teeth. So if they came in through the airlock, if they even did, uh, can't they just, like, lock them in the room? Oh, yeah, the, okay, they can. Ah, uh, they probably have to learn from their mannerisms and absorb that somehow. Yeah, the doctor's gonna be a problem here. He's gonna think a lot. <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's so nasty. I love it. Yeah, he's gonna be a problem. See. Oh god, yeah, that's so cool. I love this episode so much. Oh, it's so terrifying yet brilliant. A little bit funny as well. Oh, is that the whole crew outside? They were all vented out. Nasty. It's a horse thing. Oh, that's so sad and nothingness. So he still knows gravity and she doesn't, it's so weird. A spacesuit with no helmet. Suicide. Why don't you know? Yeah, it's suicide. So she went out there so she wouldn't get copied, I guess. <laughs> Doctor did his body crouch there. <laughs> Yeah, it was the captain trapping them in the ship apparently for some reason. When she died, you hadn't completed her. So you lost everything she knew. That must have been horrifying for her being alone on the ship and those like at least one of them copying her. Are there more than those two? You become a very slow bomb. Okay, so they're just gonna blow them up. That's actually pretty simple, but I like it. Oh, it is a countdown. Yeah, okay, so I see. So, but what if others are there? Like, if there are other life forms like that, like, they copied her, so it was one, or was it those two that copied her? So many questions. Ah, so the TARDIS made sure it worked. That's cool. So she yeah, she left them there because she knew what would happen again. I like that. TARDIS being clever again. Yeah, okay. So we've got a normal chase, apparently. Ooh, the music is so awesome. Thank you, Murray Gold. Man, I, I've missed you. <laughs> I just kicked Donna. <laughs> Donna fight, okay. So Donna won the Donna fight. I mean, of course she did. Oh, so he can still change. Okay, okay. Interesting. Will he make that though? I don't think he will. Yeah, TARDIS knew all along as always. It's so cool when the TARDIS like plans the stuff ahead. I mean, it's applied only, but... And he's got a screwdriver, like, episode without screwdriver and TARDIS. I love those. Makes, it shows how good the Doctor is. It's not just waving the stupid thing around. How will he know now? Is that the right one, though? Oh, I love the new TARDIS. Is she doing the... Okay, okay. This is the real one, okay. Yep, yeah, she's looking all psychotic, so... Oh, that's pretty insane. Could she copy the TARDIS? 
TARDIS is still sentient as well. Couldn't the no things ca like try to copy the TARDIS? So that's probably why the TARDIS flew away so they couldn't copy it, I guess. Wow, she looks a lot like Sarah Jane Smith there. It's so weird. Yeah, she really looks like Elizabeth Sladen. Yeah, he's not gonna leave her. Oh, and he scanned her. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I would have scanned her too, mate. <laughs> now it's goodbye, you ho. Okay, they're safe now. Oh, good. What an awesome episode, man. That was one of my favorites of all time. Don't know if it's my top 10, but it's close. Like, it's not top 5, but it's it might be top 10. Man, that was so good. So many cool vibes. Listen, Midnight, and there are the TARDISes. Yeah, listen, Midnight. Very Moffaty. Very interesting. Why not? At the edge of the universe. That's weird. Vampires back? Then I would love RTD tackling vampires. That might be so cool. And the time loss could come back then as well. She could remember us as the Doctor Donna. Oh, fair point. Can't you remember? Yeah, but how does that work? He's like three billion years older. Or I think two billion years. And the dial conversion dial. I mean, it would probably be therapeutic for him if someone understood it a bit. Where have you been since I last saw you? What's happened? A lot. So much has happened. No. Yeah, a lot happened. Man, so much cool stuff. And weird stuff. I will be. When? Oh, it's so good to have them back. Oh, I love those two together. I mean, so not uh, a thousandth of the confession dial. That's good. <laughs> Might be a day or two out. At least only that. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh Will. So cool. Yeah, he camped out there. Oh, I love him so much. Wilfred Moss. Oh. oh, and Bernard Crivens. Man, what an actor he was. Yeah, he never lost faith. <laughs> Fine. What happened? Keep... What is happening? Okay. What is that weird music? Um, what are they doing? They're going mad. Oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, let's go. Again. Yes, I love it when that happens. That was fucking awesome, man. It was. It was probably the best episode, at least since Twice Upon a Time. Um, I I have to think if I like it more than... I might like it more than Twice Upon a Time, a bit. It's weird. I like the ending of Twice Upon a Time so much and uh, David Bradley Doctor. But man, I've missed this. Missed this so much. So much. Five years. It's been five years, I think, five or six years since since we had episodes like this. It's so sad and so good that we have them back. Catherine Tate and David Tennant and Russell T. Davids all bringing their A game. Brilliant concept, brilliant acting. Love the character moments so much. They're all like realistic people things, whatever you say. <laughs> I love that. Love the villains, but then like they are. Are they dead because they blew up? That's a bit unclear because they still could uh, shapeshift. Perhaps they will be back. 
Yeah, like I said, they remind me of the boneless a bit. Um, I really like the boneless. I'm so sad they never came back. Um, again, sing, uh, things being set up, <laughs> things being set up, everyone going mad, and the superstition, vampires, ghosts, and something else. I think he said, "Yeah, so we might get vampire time lord war," and I want that. There were some flag, like there was a flux comment. I'm like, of course there was, but finally confirmation that it was not made all right, and the thirteenth Doctor just like ignored it for some reason, which was so weird. So half the universe gone. Timeless child happened again. Confirmation, I, like we knew it would happen, but like if someone can save it, it is a, it is Russell T Davis or Stephen Moffat. Those are the only two who can still save the backstory. Because for me, the backstory is fucked with the timeless child. And a lot of magic is lost. And I know people think differently. Some people do think differently. But I think it's, for me personally, it's a very bad writing choice. Um, yeah. But, 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 yes, it happens. So he deals with this in a, with it in a human way now, finally. Finally. Because Chris Chibnall, let's be honest, he basically wrote it in, pat himself on the shoulder, was like, yeah, I introduced something cool. Didn't do anything with it. And in the end, he was like, yeah. Do I want to know who I am? No, no, I'm just going to throw it into the heart of the TARDIS. Like, oh, man, so weak. So weak. But uh, let's not ponder on terrible things. Let's ponder on this wonderful episode. I wonder why Donna, I guess because the Doctor is a being outside space and time, Why? that's why he's still new gravity, but is that going to be important or was it just a one-off joke, the Mavity thing? I wonder. Because it was so tactile and random. Yeah, it was so weird. I wonder if that... So there seem to be setups here. And Russell T. Davis does setups well, hidden setups. He did it all the time. I think he had... Did he have a setup every every uh, season? He had Bad Wolf on season one. He had uh, Torch one in season two. He had Mr. Saxon in season three. And he had The Planets Are Disappearing in season four. So I guess he had something every season. Uh, so I hope he does have something here as well. And yeah, last last episode next tomorrow, actually. Because I couldn't watch this for a week because of so many things happening here at home. But um, yeah, ne tomorrow, last David Tennant episode. I, You know, I have to be honest, I would love him to stay as a doctor. I, I don't care for Nkuti God currently. I'm sure he will be brilliant um, because I really trust in Russell T. Davis' casting choices. Only bad casting choice was the Rose uh, actress. She was very wooden, I felt. It was so weird. She was, but uh, she should have taken more acting lessons. Um, I don't know. It was a bit weak. But uh, yeah, like Dr. Castings, he nailed them both. Like he nailed Eccleston, he nailed Tevin Tennant. So, like, like I, I think uh, Gatwa, I think you pronounce it like that, he will probably be brilliant, but I'm currently just, like, I need some stability in Doctor Who before we do something new and this uh, 10 coming back in a way as 14 and Donna being back. Like, it gives me some breathing room, some time to rest. I feel this is like, okay, it's, it's Doctor Who's, like the right direction again after these years after a hack handled it and um everything's fine relax a bit in this zone of comfort we have here with these two pretty brilliant episodes like the meep i love the meep so much such a fun villain here again evil villains again that are not like plot twisty stupid shit love it and next week tomorrow at least for me can't wait to see what's gonna happen there and gonna be so sad when 14 leaves i really will be because it means i have to trust russell t davis and i do but it's so weird i would love david Tennant to stay david Tennant is from the new doctors my least favorite but he's still a very very cool doctor like like i love every doctor i love them all but from the modern ones i felt always felt like when I watched his episodes um, in 2008 or whatever it was, he was like my favorite doctor of all time. I loved him, but 
then Matt Smith came, then Peter Capaldi came, who was like one of the greatest actors that ever lived, I think, for me personally at least. And like, like they upped it every time it was upped. And um, yeah, so, oh no, we had the 13th Doctor. So he's my second f- his favorite. He's the 13th Doctor is my least favorite Doctor. Unfortunately, not because of the acting, though. I don't know. The writing was so weak. Still don't know who the 13th Doctor was. Random. Like, like no character traits, like real ones that were really consistent. Such a shame. I'm not go, going to go into that here. It's just, I love David Tennant. He's back. He's more nuanced as well. I love how they, he put in some Smith mannerisms at least. And um, he's doing a bit of Capaldi coldness, I feel. Like, he can't a- emulate Whittaker because she n- did not really have her own thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, but he emulated uh, 12 and 11 a bit, and I loved that. Like, David Tennant's acting, awesome stuff. Anyway, I will see you next week, or tomorrow. Don't even know when I will see you again, and then for the Christmas special, of course. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Tell me what you thought of the episode. Please like and subscribe if you like, like this reaction, of course, and I will see you soon. Probably. Probably. Bye.